They tell us where everything is and the best way to go. I love my map. <laughs> I'd be lost without it. <laughs> I'd be lost without it. <laughs> For a perfect place to laugh, learn, and create. We got the perfect tool to find it. Maps. Today, Brody is mapping out his illustrations in the Women's Lab. Brad is translating words from places far away in Language Explorers. And Miss Andrea is showing us how to make our own maps and sharing her favorite map book in today's Check Out This Book. We are following the map to an amazing episode. So join us on our trip in today's Wimmy's Words. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through white and drifted snow. Ha <laughs> ha, tell us a place you would like to travel to. We'll go over the river and through the woods. Where are we gonna go? Let's see. I'm in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We travel all over Kent County, so I'll say, over the river and through the woods to all over Kent County we go. The bookmobile knows the way to carry the books through the white and drifted snow. <laughs> uh, I think the winter's free and clear now, but you never know. But that bookmobile does go. In Grand Rapids Public Library, they've got a bookmobile in Muskegon, and man, bookmobiles and on the road traveling, looking around like, hey friends, good to see you. So tell us a place you like to travel to. Maybe it's somewhere in Kent County. Maybe it's somewhere across the state. The library. Over the river and through the woods to the library we go. Ha ha ha, indeed. Getting some books, books about rivers, books about lakes, books about all kinds of things. Where else could we go, friends? We can go over the river and through the woods to friend's house. Okay, ready? Over the river and through the woods to my friend's house we go. We're going to hang out and read some books that we got at the library today. <laughs> See what I did? I combined library with... um. With that one. Oh, oh, South Dakota! Let's do it. Ready? Over the river and through the woods to South Dakota we go. Now, should we go by horse or bookmobile? Uh, let's see. Let's take. Let's take a boat. Can we take a boat? You think the river could? Could we connect in a river and go? Maybe we could leave through Lake. Maybe we start in Lake Michigan, go up around. Can we take like a river through Canada and then kind of go back down? I'm not sure. Maybe. Friends, thanks for your ideas. Keep singing that, okay? Let's see. What do we think Moby is going to say today? Did you know that people who make maps are called cartographers? Yeah, I just read about it. Anybody can draw a map of a place. You could even draw a map of your bedroom on a napkin. <laughs> but cartographers are trained in how to make really detailed maps of lots of places. Hmm. I think I'm going to go make a map of my backyard. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so um, let's get rolling for today's three-sentence story. Beginning, middle, end. Ha <laughs> ha! Friends, let's get rolling with today's story. Tell us a person, place, or thing. We love nouns. That works the best. In the first sentence, I will set the scene. In the second sentence, there will be a problem. And in the third sentence, what do we have? Solution. Ha <laughs> ha Ooh, ducks. They're in the water. Ponds most in in particular, right? I don't know. Statistically, where do ducks live the most? I don't think they go into the ocean. That would be hard. Well, maybe, maybe they do. I got to research this. Okay. Ducks. Okay. I got an idea. Early last spring, a little duck decided to fly to the middle of the ocean. Oh, oh, oh I think we see the challenge already. Should I say the problem already? I think so. Specifically, ooh, the sun. Hmm. Okay, I got it. Early last spring, a duck decided to swim to the middle of the ocean. The sun began to set, and the little ducky felt scared. Oh, ho, ho. how do we help the little ducky in the middle of the ocean? 
How long would it take, by the way, to go all the way to the middle of the ocean? I guess it depends where you started. Which continent were you on when you started going over which ocean? Hmm, that all depends. That's getting more into nonfiction. So hat. Ooh, okay, here we go. Early last spring, a duck swam to the middle of the ocean. The sun began to set, and the little ducky felt scared. The duck looked into the horizon and saw a boat carrying lots of big hats so that the duck could um, be prepared for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not sure if... I was thinking of the sun, getting the sun in the duck's eyes, but the sun was going down. So I don't know if the sun, I don't know if the hat was going to help the, um, huh. I think it's more so the boat. The boat that came helped the duck, and it happened to bring um, hats so that, uh, that's kind of where chapter two comes in. The duck wears a hat and gets to the other side of the ocean. Bum, bum, bum. Ha, 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 ha. Let's go to the Granville Women's Lab and find out. I wonder if the duck's already wearing the hat or not. Hi, Brody. Hi, Lemmy. Ha <laughs> ha. Is the duck uh, wearing a hat or, or no? Yeah. Brody? Yeah. Ooh, prepared for tomorrow. Look at all those globes. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, Lemmy. Yeah. Do you remember how uh, in the opening song it was, it's a small world? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? That's a, a little, little very small. Yeah. <laughs> that's even smaller than this one. Yeah. Man, oh man, that's awesome. It's a very yeah. small. Oh, we should say like it's a very small world. <laughs> it's a teeny tiny world. <laughs> that's funny. So, what have you got for today's image? So, I have the sun is setting with the with. Uh, the map in the background with the duck and the boat with <laughs> wearing the hat. <laughs> I love it! Yeah, that's such a cool map. I love the design. And uh, what do you think, Brody? Should we add another another word or two? Yeah. Yeah, let's see if our friends have an idea. I'm wondering if maybe we got, uh, let's see, a sailboat. Um, what else could be in the ocean here? Um, fish? Shark? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay you, you choose. Fish. Um, ooh, let me, which ooh. fish do you want? Oh, let's see. Oh, I see it. It's a yellow fish. There's a, ooh, nice. Ooh, that one kind of looks like a shark. Let's go back to the, the other one just before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And put them right in the ocean. Or we could put lots of shark in each ocean. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, tell you what, if you want to duplicate the sharks, put them in the different oceans, and then we'll check back with you to see. And if you want to add any other sea creatures, too. Because <laughs> that little ducky really would appreciate now that boat and that hat. Uh, is there a hatfish? Is that a thing? Sunfish? Catfish? Hatfish? I don't know. I think I digress. All right, friends. It's time to find out how to say today's words in Swahili. It's time for a language explorers. And today, Mr. Brad is with us. Hi, Mr. Brad. Hi, we me. <laughs> Man. Uh, have you, now, you grew up on the other side of the ocean from where we live right now. Right? Have you been to other continents or oceans that you've traveled through? So I've been on the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and what is the fourth ocean? Ooh, I, uh, I got to think Pacific, Atlantic, um, oh man, um, I got I to gotta check my globe here. The Indian, I've been on that, Indian. but I don't know what the fourth one is. I'm not sure I've been on Ooh. the fourth ocean. Let's ask our friends at home. Friends, if you could help remind us uh, which ocean we're missing. <laughs> so what uh, what have you got for today's words? Okay, so the first word I want to show you is maps, oh, which oh. is Ramani. Ramani. And I'm going to tell you a quick story in Swahili about oh. maps, and then yes. I'll translate it. <laughs> I love it. Sasa mimi sipendi kufikiria kwamba niko mzee lakini labda niko mzee sababu napendi kutumia ramani za karatasi kuliko ramani za ndani ya simu ya mkononi. So what I just told you was is I don't like to think of myself as an old man 
but maybe I am an old man because I prefer to use maps made out of paper that I can look oh. at rather than maps on my cell phone. So I don't yes. know what that says about me. No, I can relate. Oh, Arctic Ocean, oh, Danny, Arctic thank Ocean. you. Yeah. The Arctic Ocean, yes. Yeah, no, I, there's something cool about just a hand-printed yeah. map, right? Yeah. I love it. I love it. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yes. And the first so, word. So here's the next word. Ducks. Bata. 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 Ah, okay. It. The next word is hats, which is kofia. 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 And then the next word was the third word boat. Um, hat. But but I made it. It was about a boat bringing the hat. So you could translate either one, really. Uh, okay. So then the next word we'll do is boat. Okay. Which is uh, chombo. 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 Nice. I love it. Well, awesome. Thanks for trans. I like the word uh, kofia. Did I say that right? Yes, um, you did. It is it a makes- fun word to say, kofia. Yeah. yeah. Kofia. <laughs> awesome. Do ducks like to drink kofia? <laughs> <laughs> well, well here's, a, here's another uh, thing. What's it called? A, a learning trick. Not Ooh. mnemonic. What do they call that? But anyway, a learning yeah. trick for people who know the word sophia you just change the S to a K, and you'll be saying the word in Swahili for hat. Sophia, ah, Sophia. Sophia, Sophia. That could be a cool poem or book, I think. Yeah, it could. Uh-huh. You, you, you would say that Sophia wears a Kofia. <laughs> we got to work on this. I love it. Well, Mr. Brad, thanks so much for translating today's words into Swahili. See you later in the show. <laughs> Friends, it's time to check in with Andrea for today's Exploring. Oh, hi, Miss Andrea. Hi, Wimmy. How are you? <laughs> I'd like to have uh, Kofia with Sophia. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. I what love got? today's theme. I love maps so much. I love books that start with maps. I love movies that start with maps. I love yeah. books about maps. Ooh. And I have a few of those here. Okay. I went and checked the shelves at the Grand Rapids Library and found lots of fun books about maps. And these are some of my oh. favorites. It shows how to map things that are close to you. So you can map your room or map your house cool. or map your neighborhood. Um, and, of course, we got these at the Grand Rapids Library, but I bet you would find books like this at any library you went into. Uh-huh. So it. I thought for today's project we could map our house or our bedroom. <gasps> And this That's is, cool. yeah, this is a fun, easy project because all you need is paper, right? Paper. Yep. And markers or colored pencils or crayons. Nice. So I've decided I'm going to map my house and I think I'm just going to do the first floor of my house. So okay. here I go. To start uh-huh. off, my house is a great big square. So start off, here's the outside of my house. Can you see that? Yeah. I can and picture then, it right now. Yeah, and the, the, my house isn't just a great big square. There's some walls inside my house too, right? Yeah. So I'm going to put the walls inside my house. That's kind of what the first floor of my house looks like on the inside. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Is the is the big room the living room? It is. Yeah. Oh, this I is the right. room here. Yeah, right, right there. Cool. Okay. And of course, let's see. I have to get into my house somehow, right? Yeah. So I I did one ahead of time because as much fun as it is, it is to draw a map of my house. Maybe it's not as much fun to watch me do it. <laughs> so this is my finished project. Can you see Whoa. that? Oh, yep. Living yeah. room, dining room, kitchen, bedroom. Oh, you got a compass? Yeah. Oh, North? that's important on a map, isn't it? This is called the compass. Ooh, other way. Compass rose. And it shows which way my house points. Whoa. So my kitchen and my bed, my bedroom downstairs is on the west side of my house. And my oh, dining room and my living room are on the east side of my house. Whoa. And can you see what else is on my map? Let me look. Uh, oh, I see the key, which tells us more information. The, yeah. Oh, it tells us where the doors and the windows are. That's right. In order to read a map, you have to know what all of these little things stand for, don't you? Yep. And it's good to think of a map as like a picture of your house from an airplane's point of view, right? Your 
hovering over your house or your neighborhood, and that's what it looks like from up above. Oh, oh. it's like Superman's x-ray vision through the roof. It is, absolutely. <laughs> so I've nice. got, let's see, orange for windows. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows on the first floor of my house. Cool. And I have purple for doors. And I have, let's see, one outside door, two outside doors, and one inside door. Oh. And oh, I, then, see an, I see an X. An X. Oh, is that yeah. where the pirate is that where the pirate treasure is? The pirate treasure is. Can you read the key? <laughs> Can oh, you read the key? Oh, that it says the meeting spot. The meeting spot. Yeah, like if your family had an emergency and had to meet outside, it's a good idea to have a, a place picked out already, right? That's a great so we idea. Have a great big tree in the front yard that we would meet out at. I love it. So yeah, that's the first floor. I decided maybe I, maybe the kids want to start with their bedrooms. It could be their first oh. step on, to becoming a cartographer later oh. in life, right? Uh, yeah. Just like uh, Moby said. Yeah, so, Moby did. Yeah, here's the bedroom, oh. and the key looks a little bit different because I, I decided to include the furniture on this one. Whoa. So you could start with your bedroom and then expand your house and then expand your whole neighborhood. Whoa, so, what if you map the whole world? There are maps of the whole world. Just imagine how much work has to go into mapping the yeah. whole world. Wow. That is, that is a but, lot of work. Yeah, start small. Just start yep. with your bedroom. I love it. Well, Missy Andrea, thanks so much for showing us that. And I know I'm going to work on that. And I bet our friends at home are going to do some cool maps. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Friends, let's see what Sibley's got for today's Laughing with Sibley. Why was a cat laying on the globe? There's no cat laying on this globe taking a cat map. <laughs> oh, man, we love books. It's time for today's Check Out This Book. <laughs> Welcome back, Miss Andrea. <laughs> what book you got today? Today I have a book called <gasps> Mapping Penny's World. Cool. Can you guess what this dog's name is? Um... Penny. That's right. Penny. <laughs> Penny is a Boston Terrier, and her friend Lisa is a little girl who's in school and learning about maps, and they get an assignment to map their bedrooms, just like we were talking about. Yeah, yeah. And she mapped her room, and there was the bed and the aquarium and the toy chest, and, of course, Penny's bed. <laughs> and it was so much fun, she decided to map her house and then her neighborhood and then she decided to map penny's route to her favorite dog friend's house and then they decided to map uh, penny's favorite things that included a duck pond and the place where the squirrels hang out and the place where all her dog friends hang out and then they started to map even more and more and more and then you'll never guess what the map at the end of this book maps it's really oh. big Oh man, maps. Um, um, oh, I don't even know. It could be anything. You'll have to read the book to find oh, out. Oh man, I will do it. You cooked me there. Oh man, I gotta find out. I love it. It's just like what you just showed us how to do. Exactly. Yeah, and you. There's really a duck in there because our duck was in the ocean in our story today. Yep, there's more than one duck in here. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Thanks, Miss Andrea. I will surely check that book out at the library. <laughs> man, man, I'm just having so much fun. Words, stories, songs, ideas. Ho <laughs> ho! Man, hey friends, right now, let's see what Michael's up to. It's time for today's Minute with Michael. <laughs> hey, Michael! Hey, Wimmy. Hey, friends. Uh, <laughs> what a great show. I love maps as well. They're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So I was born uh, in Haiti, which is uh, an island in the West Indies. And yeah. so um, came to the U.S. when I was five, joined the military, was a Navy Seabee. So I've yeah. traveled the world. 
Yeah, I imagine. And so uh, I love maps. I love meeting different people in, in different cultures. And that's one thing, friends, uh, especially our kids who are watching out there, maps can help us uh, you know, meet so many new different people, new languages, new cultures. So I have a question Ooh. for you, Wimmy, and for okay. friends who are watching. Okay. If there was one place you can go, where would that be? Um, you first, oh, Wimmy, and then we'll oh, give okay. our uh, friends who are watching the opportunity to send us their um, yeah. suggestions. All right. So friends think where you would like to travel. I There's so many places I would want to go. Um, I'd love to see... Um, the Grand Canyon. I'd love to see the Great Wall in China and the history Ooh. behind that. Um, I'd love to go uh, to um, Zimbabwe because I think it sounds cool, the name of that country in Africa. Um, I want to go to the Netherlands. Um, I want to go to Paris, France. Okay. Um, I want to go. Lots, okay, you've, yeah. got, you've got a lot of places you want to go. Let's uh -huh. bring in Miss Andrea and let's ask her where she'd okay. like to go that she hasn't been yet. Uh. Oh, let's find out. Hey, Miss Andrea, where would you like to travel to? Oh, there are so many places I'd like to go, but I think the first one that came to my mind was Tokyo, Japan. Oh, Ooh, nice. So cool. Awesome. Yeah. How about Brody? Brody, oh. where would you like to go? I'd like to go to Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> Man. This is what they do, right? Oh yeah, hang loose. It's hang like, loose. Uh, uh, what's um, what's that one word? Um, uh, not aloha, but um, 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 I forget. Yeah, I've not been to Hawaii yet, although I'd love to go to Hawaii. Yeah, Ma and mahalo, it's mahalo. It's mahalo. It means thank you, mahalo. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's bring in the director. Oh, Jim, 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 where would you travel to? Oh no, I, I, where did we go? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? All right, well, yeah. you know what? I would, I would like to go, um, geez, if I could go anywhere in the world, I'd like to just go to an island. Any island anywhere, I think, would be would be pretty fun. We got lots of islands in Michigan. <laughs> I think there's like a hundred some islands, right? Yes. I'll have to How look. about we show our friends Wimmy's Island, oh! the animation where you... <laughs> um, yeah. Cupcakes you know, and cup, yeah. <laughs> we need to get that on the map. But before, let's let's show friends the animation about Wemmy's dream. Wemmy sat down, looked around the room, and began to wonder. He dreamed of an island filled with butterflies, crayons, and cupcakes. Bum ba dum bum bum, cupcakes, cupcakes and crayons and butterflies. Oh boy, look at these butterflies! And oh, ha oh, ha, oh, cupcakes! Mm. Oh, I love it here! I should invite everybody to come over! We could have a cupcake party! Oh man, that was fun! <laughs> that was fun. So, yeah. an island full of cupcakes, butterflies. So, that's <laughs> one place I'd love to go. Yeah, uh, I think Brody was up for it, and I think I think we should all go. Hey, let's um let's bring in Brad. But you know what? I think I think Jim is telling us he's got no audio. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we gotta figure yeah. that out. But let's bring That's in Brad because we didn't ask Brad if <laughs> okay. there was one place he can visit on a map where that would be. So let's bring in um Brad. <laughs> hey, Hi guys, where would you so, travel to? So a place I would like to go to where I've never been is the countries in Asia of Cambodia and Laos. Oh, they wow. have some very ancient um, temples there from thousands of years ago that are remarkably preserved. And I think it would be fun to see those in person. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, well thanks, what a great thanks. show. Brad, thank you so much. Wimmy, you look awesome. You've got your map. Can you spin your map, please? I'd love to see it. Oh. <laughs> spin the globe. I'm trying. Oh, give me a second. Uh, uh, there we go. You got it. I got it. it. I got it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, let's see what Brody got going on. And he's got a whole bunch of maps behind him. <laughs> Did you add some sharks? Uh, so, I got... I added a Whoa. dolphin with Wimmy, 
uh, riding the dolphin, and I added a octopus. Oh, whoa! That is so cool. I love it, man. I I wanna I wanna print that one and really look close. <laughs> man, all right, <laughs> all right. So uh, I got word. Jim's got the audio back, right, Jim? Yeah. Should we bring Jim in? Let's confirm. Uh, Jim, can you hear me? Bring us in. Bring you in if you can. Oh, no, that might have caused a problem last time. Never mind, never mind. Don't stay in. Stay out, stay out. And we're ready for the dance party, right? We are. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? Bef um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I digress. Let's do the dance party. Are you ready? Let's bring everybody in. Let's bring in Brad. Let's bring in Andrea. Uh, I don't know if Jim can hear us, actually. <laughs> it's gone again. Yeah, I just saw the note. Let me do this. Let me tell you what. I'm going to push the, the emergency button. Okay. And, um... Yeah, got it. Okay. That means... I will bring you the dance party music. Wimmy's Words is brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great, Fonterra by Smart, Meyer and with additional support from these great partners.